Hey, what's up guys? Today here, I wanna show six ways to train your biceps at home. Now, why biceps, not other muscle group? Because I personally find that most people are actually struggling to train in biceps without equipment, or if you have equipment, this video can be a bonus for you. So unlike other muscle groups like triceps, push-ups train the triceps, it trains the chest, squat trains the leg, biceps is often a question mark. So if you stay with me long enough, I will be starting from equipment base and slowly moving on to no equipment or what you can do at home to fire up the biceps for growth. So the first way, also known as the best way to train your biceps is with dumbbell. Okay, so anything in curling like this will fire up the biceps. Now, here's the thing. You can either do one by one or two at the same time. So in my opinion, I prefer doing two at the same time because it's a time saver. However, one at a time is not really useless because it helps you to stay focused, especially getting the mind muscles coordinations, all right? And dumbbells is pretty general. You can get it pretty much anywhere. And here's a tip. Dumbbell, because our muscles require different intensity, so sticking to one intensity may not be the best way to progress. So over time, you might want to go for heavier dumbbell. So I strongly recommend you to get an adjustable dumbbell, can be increase the weight, or you can just check out a video over here on how I actually set up my home gym with different intensity to get the best out from your training. The second way, probably, the most effective body weight style with equipment is a suspension trainer. All right, so this is like this. And do a curl, curling your own body weight. This is harder than it actually look. It's because the heavier you are, the harder it goes. And over time, your form will break. So this way, also very good to strengthen your back because your back will be the secondary muscles to stabilize your movement and help you train the arms. Another way to train your arms is using a pull-up bar. This is at one level. And instead of doing a pull-up, you're gonna go reverse grip. Anything reverse will use more biceps, all right? Just like this. And of course, if you have a chance to adjust, to have a lower bar, like a deep bar, a solid deep bar, you can actually also use an inverted row style and do a curl, right? This way, it's easier. It's not as harsh as doing a pull-up, reverse grip pull-up. And for me, I personally like to superset from a pull-up, reverse grip, as many reps as possible. And then once I reach failure, because pull-up requires pulling your body weight, it is high intensity. And I truly believe all of us, we still have within some energy left. And I was super sad immediately doing a dumbbell curl all out. And by doing this, it's definitely an ultimate routine for the biceps. Alright, so there you have it. These are the basic exercises. It's pretty basic, gym equipment. And if you can go to the gym, even better because there are more stuff like preacher curl, machines, and barbell cables for you to fire up the biceps even further. Now, from here onwards, I'm gonna talk about how you train your arms without any equipment. Probably some home stuff that is available to you. So first of all, is one of the thing that I find is very effective, but it's kind of weird to do and that is curling a pail of water. So first of all, make sure that your house have a solid bucket, right? Because if it's not solid, when you curl, when you refill the water, it's gonna weigh like 10 kg, it will break. So make sure everything is solid. If you don't have this, don't worry, please stay with me because upcoming next, I will show different alternatives. Filling up 80% first, not too full because you don't want to spill the water. Probably you already watched this video before, right? If not, you can check out this video over here because I've mentioned on how you can train your arms at home, right? So basically this is like the version two. Still worth doing because uh, many of you actually missed out this content. Okay, so how heavy is this? 
Well, it really depends on the size of your bucket, right? And uh, I'm gonna test it out with my weighting scale. To see how heavy is this at 80% amount of water. All right, so 16 kg is no kidding. It's very heavy, right? It's about 35 pounds, 32 point. Yeah, it's 33 pounds, right? So imagine curling 16 kg at home. It's gonna be crazy at first. So what you can do is you can reduce the water level and this is one beauty side of curling with a pail of water. You can always adjust the intensity. Okay, so this is about 50% or 60%. Check it out right now. All right, kill off. Okay, so I think this is the right intensity, 12 kg. It's pretty heavy, right? And one tip to curl a pit of water, right? Just like I mentioned in my previous video, try to place yourself in a staggered stance, okay? Because here, you can actually have a full range of motion instead of this, right? This is not a full range motion, right? It's blocking, so you want to have a staggered stance. And your opposite arms, right? If you can, place behind your elbow. It's at the back of your knuckle place behind your elbow and curl, okay? The reason of doing this is to keep your elbow stabilized, right? Once your elbow is stable, you'll get more isolations for your biceps. Like I said, this is kind of weird to do, but if you're training at home, it doesn't matter. Nobody else will see it. This type of training is basically what I did during the first lockdown here in Malaysia. For three months without gym equipment, I've been training like this and I'm still able to maintain my muscles. And of course, after the first lockdown, I start investing in dumbbells and so and so on. The next way to train your biceps at home is using a towel. Now, it doesn't make sense on how you're gonna train your muscles with a towel. This is how it looks like. So first of all, get a long towel. You need to get a long one, it's because right here, you can step on it, okay? Depends on the intensity. I recommend you just, just step lightly first. And from here, just imagine you're doing a bicep curl by supinating your arms. That means your arms, palms facing outward and curl. Okay, of course, the longer the towel, the better because more range of motion. Just let me get a longer towel. Okay, so this is slightly longer. So longer, more range of motion. So from here, curl it up, right? And you wanna add resistance all the time by stepping down. When you reach at the top, step down against your arms. If you can hold for one second or two seconds, release and repeat, okay? So this requires a little bit of balancing and it also depends on how long is your towel and also depends on your flexibility. So I would say this way, standing curl, is probably not the best way to train your biceps. I find that another way will be more effective, more user-friendly, and that is sitting down on the floor. So for this version, I can probably go back to slightly shorter towel, and how it look like is sit down, place a towel in one of your leg, right, one of your feet and keep your knees bent. So from here, you want to make sure the towel is even, supination, elbow close, and curl. Right, full range of motion from here and curl. Right, don't round your back, keep your back straight, curl. All right, this also gives a good stretch for your hamstring. Okay, so it's a two-in-one thing. It's a stretching and it's a training for your biceps. Okay, so once you're done, you can probably switch to the other side, your other leg to get the stretching balance left and right. Or if not, you can just stick to one leg, it's all good, right? So the question is, should you keep your elbow all the way back? It's not necessary for, to do this exercise, probably you want to keep your elbow a little bit forward, but you want to lock in position and curl, okay? You don't want to keep moving like this, right? Or like this, this is like a roll. It trains your back, but Today's topic is biceps, so you want to get the best out from biceps. Keep your elbow in place. Alright, so by just demo, I'm really sweating. No kidding. Alright, and last of all, how to train your biceps at home 
even without a towel, without your pill. So I'm shirtless here, that means I'm doing body weight stuff already. And that is, try this method using both arms. Your this arms, let's say that you want to train your right arms first. Put pressure on your right arms, pressing against here, and keep your elbow in position. And imagine you're doing a curl, at the same time adding resist against this arm. Right, so this is how it look like. All right, so all the way, push all the way down and curl all the way up. So it's like a constant tension. Three, four, five. All right, so this exercise looks like more like a warm up thing, but if you do it for a couple of reps, I would say 12 reps and above, adding resistance all the way up, pressing all the way down, slow down when you go down and focus on your biceps, I can guarantee you will feel the burn. And in fact, this exercise is what my dad taught me when I was like six years old, where I can't even lift a dumbbell. This is what he taught me. So credit to my dad. And today I'm passing down to every one of you. And in fact, I mentioned this exercise quite a few times in my video, right? But still, it's worth doing a content sharing this method on how to fire up your biceps. So what you can do is you can do a superset. So first of all, start it off with 10 reps of this, 10 reps of arms curl, body weight arms curl, and then no rest, do this, use this as a post exhaustion, keeping your elbow close, half push up, right? If you're strong, you can go a little bit lower, hold here, hold, uh, until you no longer can hold. And this will give you a great pump to train your bicep at home. All right, so there you have it. Six ways to train your bicep at home with equipment, with home stuff, or with body weight. Now, if you ask me which one is the best, for me, I still strongly recommend you, if you can, get a dumbbell, get an adjustable dumbbell, get the right intensity. Training with weights is much easier to progress. Don't get me wrong, body weights is great, but they are good in getting started. The problem with body weight is the progression is gonna be hard. Example, if you are doing this all day long, you can feel the burn, you can feel the pump, but over time, maybe a month later, you're so much stronger, but your next progression is to do a pull-up, reverse grip pull-up. We are talking about body weight here. It's gonna be a little bit challenging. The gap is a little bit too far. So with weights, you can progress in step-by-step, Instead of going from 10 kg to 20 kg, they can progress from 12.5 kg, 15 kg, micro progressions. And yep, it reminds me again of if you have a pail or water bucket, you can also progress from there, but in consistency also, because sometimes you are not sure how much water to fill up, or sometimes you over pour, the weight is not consistent. So still, if you ask me, I strongly recommend you to get yourself dumbbell, right? And if you're training in the gym already, I would say keep up the good work and be sure to check out the video over here because this video, I talk about three ways to guarantee to fire up, to force grow your biceps. And yeah, check out my app also. There are so much training tips in my app and or else keep training and I wish you all the best there. Peace.